Yo, so uh, today I've decided to talk about Musa Sissoko because I feel like out of all the subjects that are currently on at Newcastle, like Tim Crawl's fitness coming back, all that, they're all positive. I'm going to talk about the one negative, which is Musa Sissoko. The, the way he's handling wanting a transfer request is very poor. I don't blame him for wanting one. I, he's, got no, he's got no loyalty to the club. He's not from Newcastle, he's French at the end of the day, and he wants a move, which is fair play. But you go by in the right way, like Gina Wijnaldum did, he did it behind closed doors. I don't think I heard one... I don't think... He, he, he mentioned one thing, I think what all that Gina did was say to the press that um, I would have stayed at Newcastle if they stayed up, which is fair play to him, I believe that. But Sissoko has always wanted to move to a bigger club, well, a bigger club. So yeah, do I think he'll get a move to a bigger club? No, I don't think he will. I feel like the way I feel like some clubs will be put off by how he has reacted to the whole thing because Leicester have proven that mentality and what's going on up there is more important nowadays. So if he's got his head of aware, if his head can't focus, sorry, focus like my camera, if his head can't focus, I feel like big clubs are going to shy away from that sort of player because nobody wants that sort of greedy player. So yeah. This right here sums up Musa Sissoko perfectly. I'm going to insert a clip from him in the Euros. As soon as the camera was on him, this is what happened. So yeah, that clip right there should tell you everything you need to know about Musa Sissoko. He turns it on for the big games when the cameras are on him. Prime examples are against Chelsea. That's when he's had his best games. That's where he's broke some records. In fact, this first season, I believe he broke the... I think he was the Premier League's fastest player. So it proves it, doesn't it? As soon as the cameras are on him, he'll give 100%. When the cameras aren't on him, he won't give 100%. At the end of the day... <laughs> Trust me, me and my dad know we're not from Newcastle personally and there's no live games pretty much. It's like one every three weeks and uh, Musa Sokoko only performs when cameras are on and let's face it, there's not a lot of cameras on right now on Newcastle. So yeah, I do think it's best for us just to get rid of him. Do I think a club's going to take him? No. Do I think we need to lower the asking price? Yes. I feel like they mixed up Genie's and Sissoko's asking price. I don't see how Sissoko's were 35 mil and Genie is worth 25 mil. That, that, to me, that baffles me. I really do believe it's the opposite way around. Genie is the better player. He will go on to do better things than Sissoko. Sissoko is literally the... I hate Sissoko. I hate him. I, don't get me wrong. I love. I loved him when he first came, but... He's just always treated this club like... He's literally treated this club like a, stem, uh, like a stepping stone. And it, yeah, it's upset. It, it, it breaks my heart to see it because my dad goes on about... Because he got to watch Shearer, all the good players. I get Sissoko. People like Sissoko, Cissé, I get all those terrible people. And it's like, oh, hopefully Rafa can turn the club around. Because I'm fair for these terrible players thinking they're better than they are. Because Sissoko, he won't get in it. I just spat, that's how I'm getting. Sissoko won't get into any big club, I promise you that. He might get on Arsenal's reserves. Hopefully, there we go. I hope he does. Like goodbye, you know, he went to PSG. He's ended up at bloody Crystal Palace. I, I don't even think he start. I think he might start for Crystal Palace, to be fair. But it's Crystal Palace. Pardew, he's with Pardew again. Jesus Christ. Honestly, footballers these days piss me off. Like, I'm, oh, rant over. Rant, I'm not, I'm just, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Sorry for going off with a bit of a tantrum. Yeah, just hashtag fuck Musa Sissoko. Let's send him that. Hashtag fuck Musa Sissoko. Yeah, I hope he does get his move away. Bye Sissoko if you're watching this. I don't know why he'd be watching this, but hi. Send me an autograph. I can sell it for one quid because that's what you're worth, Sissoko. That's what you're worth. Thank you so much for watching. I really enjoy talking about Newcastle. I only get to talk about Newcastle with my dad because we're from like Midlands, which is like in the middle of the map, and there is literally no Geordies around here. So please comment below. I really want some Geordies to talk to. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, comment below what you want to see next. Next, and um, yeah. Hopefully, I'm gonna do a video a day. That's my aim to do one video a day. Um, tomorrow's video will be talking about tonight's game that we'll probably lose. No, that's a lie. We'll win. 5-0. No. I'm going to do a quick prediction. It's going to be 3-1 and uh, LaSalle is going to just fucking get ahead of goal. Not headbutt my window slash camera because I'm shooting face in the window. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll follow again. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.